Chiefs game and, and use it going forward just in terms of just getting more experience, getting more comfortable, getting more confident in, in your game? Um, those are the games where we really got to focus on details and stay focused. And we got away of that a little bit, and so did I, uh, on the, what everybody knows, the fumble. And um, just got to keep everything, don't change anything up and stay the same. When you do kind of get off to a rough start like that, mm -hmm. when things all of a sudden it's like, okay, wait a second, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. How do you, how is your approach when you try to bounce back? Um, well, last year, you know, I had the drop at Cal, I, I kind of went in the tank and, you know, I wasn't really feeling it. But now I take the approaches, uh, just got to go to the next play. So what I do is I just take my helmet off, take my gloves off, breathe in, breathe out talk to myself, go back in, and I made I made a good catch uh, at the end, that side of the end zone. And just in general, I mean, you're leading the team now and all that stuff. I mean, did you expect yourself to be in this position when, uh, you know, when you started the uh, conference play? Um, definitely not. I just I just wanted to contribute the best way I can. Whatever they wanted me to do, I was going to do it 100%. But, you know, now that I'm, I'm getting one of those roles as being a leader, a vocal leader, and a leader on the field, I'm taking that in all the way, 100, percent and I'm trying to just increase, increase my ability. What, what is it? What is it? Maybe the best part about your leadership skills as a vocal leader? How, how do you feel like the best way is that you get your point across? Um, just bright, just bright, straight to the point. Like I, I let the guys know what we need to do, how we need to do it. Uh, let the receivers know what we need to do, blocking schemes, uh, running the ball, and you know, talk to Keith and everything like that. So I just. Trying to take every approach possible. And how they respond to that? They respond good. They, uh, it, everybody seems like a big family when we click. It's just, it's like a three-head, five-head monster. <laughs> so with uh, Arizona coming in, you know, from the desert and the, looking like the weather here is, you know, back to Husky football weather. Mm -hmm. And you guys, you know, obviously running the football, them running the football. What is kind of an advantage you think you'd have if you start maybe if you, you start pulling away and they have to start throwing the football? You guys, you know. In your offensive, you know, scheme like that with the weather and everything. Um. Well, the weather's fine. You go to Pittsburgh, you're gonna have to play in some yeah. snow, some rain. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, we can throw the ball in the rain. We can run the ball in the rain. We just gotta make plays. But uh, the advantage is we practice in this thing all this, the the weather all the time, and we're just we're we're getting used to it again. And once once we get all the way used to it, we'll be fine. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Thank you.